Welcome to Trio Road uh, this afternoon for this Panorama National League South match. It's Trio City versus Gloucester City. There's no getting away from it that this afternoon's game is sure to be a tensely fought out affair, with both sides needing a win to help avoid the relegation drop. For Trio, who haven't won in over two months, a run of nine games, how timely would picking up three points be before they travel to Hampton on Monday and then return here next Saturday for the last game of the season against Slough? From the side that lost Tuesday to Concord, caretaker manager Paul Wilkinson has made two changes with Dan Rooney and Jordan Kopp, both starting, replacing Chris Regis and Jared Lewington. Gloucester also make two changes from their 4-1 home defeat last Saturday against Billericke with Harry Hodges. He's the son of the Plymouth Argyle youth the coach, Kevin Hodges, and Zach Codfeature. They're both in for Noah Smurden and Chris Knowles. Rooney back to Thompson. Another cross in. Jordan Cobb looks to shoot. Gets it on his left foot. That was a great shot. Great save as well by Tom King. Dior with the header and King with the, uh, the effort from Dior. But what a shot from Jordan Cobb. Allen inside to Riley Lowe. Another cross comes in, and the header from Tyler Harvey, but uh, Tom King right behind it. Niall Thompson trying to get past Cuts feature, but uh, fails to do so as Austin Booth, who was already on the ground, <laughs> managed to head that one away. And Grimes having to hold off Noel Williams. The two Gloucester. The two-man wall has gone to 10 yards. Allen with the little ball clipped into the six-yard box. Harvey with the volley, and uh, that's gone a long way over the crossbar. Now Grimes out to this right side. Niall Thompson, they had no luck on the left. Are they going to try on the right? Harvey wants it, he's got it. Thompson's made the run now. Can he get the cross in? This time it's low. Finds Dan Rooney, but his first time attempt just over the bar. So, Gloucester take the short free kick. Morford tries to get it into the penalty area. Just came off the top of River Allen's head, but uh, True don't clear it. Then the shot from Robert, and that is a cracking goal by the Gloucester number seven, Fabian Robert. 37 minutes on the clock and Truro are now in trouble. 1-0 down with a shot from Gloucester's seven, Fabian Robert. You can see uh, how much that has meant to the Gloucester. Not only the players, but also the subs and the management team are all happy with that one. To River Allen. Tyler Harvey in possession. Allen along the ground to Dan Rooney. And we need a little bit of magic from the Argyle player. And River, River Allen with the outside of his right foot. De all chested it to keep, get it under control. Then he stumbled over and uh, Gloucester knock it away. Sure, need to pack the box. Surely they've got no one too deep at the moment. Ronnie Lowe, no doubt knocking it in to the edge of the six-yard box. Here he comes. It's flicked on by Grimes, I think it was, and it's a good save by the keeper, King. So another corner. Riley Lowe's corner. The all was there, but always struggling to, to get over the ball. Gloucester supporters here. Plenty of noise coming from them. Brought their flags with them. Short corner, Robert takes over again. Low cross. Thomas not able to get a shot in, and can Dan Rooney break for Truro? Morford 
chases him down and then he's helped by his teammate. Goss to concede the throw. Trio get it back into play quickly. look to perhaps uh, th knock it long but instead short ball to Allen. Allen does knock it longer. Cop causing a few problems for the Gloucester defence. Riley low with the header and it's handball and that's a penalty. Yes the number two Harry Hodges just touched it with his right arm. Referee right in line to see it. Same line as we've got and that was immediately going to be a penalty which uh, Harvey, Harvey Tyler Harvey scored for one on Tuesday. Can he do the same here at Chew Road this afternoon? Approaching the hour mark and crucial, crucial time for Truro City. Will Tyler Harvey become Truro's goal scorer from the penalty spot? And it's saved. It's pushed away by King first of all. Then he grabs it at the second attempt. And the Gloucester players surround King and congratulate him. And uh, not the best of hit penalties, but an important save by the Gloucester keeper, King. It's at the end of King's kick out as uh, Riley Lowe knocks it towards Harvey, but Hamilton is there for Gloucester. And Allen again towards Harvey. Rooney outside to Cop. Low and hard cross. Lewington didn't connect with it when it looked as if all he had to do is side foot it into the net. Somehow that stayed out. Didn't get behind it. So all the Gloucester players back, as you would expect. Not quite all the Truro players up. Cop and Thompson have stayed behind. Riley Lowe is going to take this free kick. Goes for goal. Just wide. Quarter of an hour left in this Panorama National League South game. Tro still trailing by that just that one goal they conceded. And here we're under a bit of pressure with this. And Jackson and Jackson makes it 2-0 with a run from deep. Hammers it into the roof from the net. Alexis Jr. with no no way of stopping that one. And as the crowd begin to leave Tree Road here, the Gloucester supporters. They're really glad they made the trip. It's true, nil, Gloucester two. That's a great ball by Hodges to Robert. Oh, Robert hits the top of the crossbar and uh, Gloucester threatening to get in third. With a minute remaining, could be the last chance for Truro. King will send this as far as he can. Richards little cushion header to Riley Lowe. Riley Lowe comes inside of Parker and then lays it off to Harvey. Harvey with a shot and what a goal that was. What a goal that was to make it to now trail one, Gloucester two, but is it too late? Long ball forward, almost six minutes of added on time played. Mr. Lamport looks at his watch. True, looking at relegation looming even closer if they don't get something out of this match. Parker takes a throw. Mr. Lamport blows his whistle. It's a big roar of approval from the Gloucester supporters behind that goal. They've seen their team come here to Trieu Road. A goal after 37 minutes from Robert. A second after 76 from Jackson. And although Tyler Harvey scored one up right at the death of 90 minutes, his penalty miss perhaps could prove crucial as it's finished here. Trieu City 1, Gloucester City 2.